Hey folks, it's Rob Jackson with Fandroid.com. I'm here with the Samsung Galaxy Nexus. We just had the event. Um, it was crowded, as you know what, but we finally got our hands on the device and just wanted to give you a run through, um, first of all, of the hardware. Now, one thing you'll notice is this screen is absolutely uh, amazing. It's a 4.65 inch HD Super AMOLED screen, um, and it's got 1280 by 720 pixel resolution. And you can really tell, I mean, up close, which you probably can't see on this, but it is super super clear so for multimedia HD movies um, HD streaming Netflix this is gonna look really really good uh, some other specs that you can see oh, actually let's go through the um, the actual hardware on the device at the top here you can see maybe uh, the speaker or the earpiece um, there's also a, a, a camera on the top right really interesting with this is that these buttons down here are not soft they're all software buttons so no hardware buttons, um, and that's something new that's built into Android 4.0. So then we've got on the right here the power button and sleep button, which shuts it off with the typical uh, TV shutdown, which we've seen in the new version of um, Android before. At the bottom down here we've got uh, docking pins for Shirley Multimedia Dock. No accessories have been named quite yet. 3.5 millimeter headset jack here at the bottom along with a little camera mic. Um, on the left side we've got a volume rocker. Right there. Uh, what else do we have? And then um, on, the, on the back obviously we've got the 5 megapixel camera. You can see the flash. Uh, and a really neat, interesting uh, back panel. It's got a um, group to it, super light, and kind of gives the phone an interesting feel. The other thing you'll notice, this phone is super, super slim. So it's 4.67 inches for the screen, but the device itself is really slim, and it's got that curved, um, that curved look to it, the curved screen. Um, other specs, as you can see on here, include uh, dimensions 135.5, by 68 by about 9 millimeters, 135 grams. Um, it looks like, yeah, the camera, the front facing camera is 1.3 megapixels. Um, it's a dual 1.2 gigahertz processor, uh, 16 gigabytes of internal memory, 32 gigabytes expandable. The battery is 1750 milliamp battery. Um, it's got notification ID, full 1080p recording, NFC zero shutter. Some of these features are really cool. This is the actual hardware of the device. Um, we'll go over the software separately. Um, one thing that I do want to show you actually is the difference between this and the first Samsung Nexus uh, device, which is interesting. This right here is the um, Samsung Nexus S, which was the second Nexus device right after the uh, Samsung Nexus 1, which was made by HTC. So Samsung has now made two Nexus devices in a row with the Nexus S, and it looks like the screen timeout on there is pretty quick, but you can see the difference in size of these apps and even clarity of the screen. Um, the screen on the, on the uh, Galaxy Nexus is just is so much larger. Um, the device itself is larger, but check out the thickness of these two next to each other. It's a little bit hard because of the of the curvature of the screens. They've both got that dipped uh, that dipped base that kind of widens out and gets a little bit bulbous. But clearly, the uh, the, ne the Galaxy Nexus is much uh, more narrow. And again, you don't have the, these are again software haptic feed buttons, but these are not uh, these are not built into Android. Um, whereas on the Galaxy Nexus, they are. I'm trying to think if there's anything else I could tell you about it. It's got a nice feel to it, a typical Samsung feel. So it is a little bit light. Some people will love that because they'd like it having a huge device but not very heavy. Others might say it has a little bit of a plasticky feel to it.
Um, there is this notification LED light, which is small inclusion, but I hate when people don't include it. Um, trying to think of what else on the hardware side of things we might be leaving out. Of course, this is the first phone that will have Android 4.0, which is ice cream sandwich. So there's a lot of stuff on the software side you're going to want to keep in mind, and we're about to go over that in a minute. Um, so hopefully we'll have a review unit soon, and we can kind of put this through all its paces. But for now, this is the Samsung Galaxy Nexus from Hong Kong.